Hello, boys and girls. We're going to be reading The Big Race the second time today. Remember, it's in our California Journeys first grade book, Unit 3, and this is our Lesson 14 anchor text. Yesterday, we learned that this is a fantasy, a make-believe story, and that, and that Pam Munoz Ryan wrote the book. She's the author, and Viviana Garofoli was the illustrator. She drew all the pretty pictures. And we have an extra set of words. These are our, like, vocab words. And we're going to practice reading them first, and then we'll review the ones we did yesterday, our sight words, that we actually have on our test on Friday. So these are words that are in our story, so listen up. This one says, lizard. Lizard. It's a reptilian desert animal. Okay, next one says race. And look at that word. This E makes this C say its soft sound. And let's see. This word says race. Race. And a race is when it's like a game you play when you and the game is to try to get there before the other persons do. Race. You win the race when you get there first. This is road runner. A road runner is a desert animal. It's a bird. And let's see if we can find the, oh, there's a road runner waving at his friends. Road runner has two words in it. Road runner. Road runner. Remember that big long word says road runner, road runner. This one says cotton tail. Let's see, I don't see cotton tail here. Let's turn the page. May oh, he was the first one there. That's the cotton tail. Cotton tail is a kind of rabbit, not a jack rabbit, not a New Zealand rabbit, but a cotton tail rabbit. It has two words too: cotton, like a cotton ball, and tail. And I'll bet you they call them cottontails because the back of them looks like a little cotton ball. See that part right there? Cotton. Oh, maybe you can't. Ooh. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it. Cottontail. When you see cottontail, don't be scared of it. Cottontail. This says hay. And there's some hay. Hay is dead grass you feed to large animals and goats and such. And this one says, hooray! Remember when he won? He said, hip, hip, hooray! So it's like, um, a, not a greeting, but like it's when you want to express you're really happy, you, you shout, hooray! So let's just read those vocabulary words one more time. Lizard. Did you do it? See if you can do this one. Race. Race. Road runner. Woo. Oh. Cotton tail. Okay, are you getting these before I read them? Hey. Hooray! And then these are a review of yesterday. And remember, we have lots of number words. What does this number word say? Five. Four. Three. Are you getting these before I do? Two. And then we have watch. That's tricky because the A says aw. Like, my son got a brand new watch for Christmas, a wrist watch, so he can tell the time. He actually did. This one says starts, like the movie starts at 8 o'clock, starts. Into, hey, that's a compound word. It has two little words, in. Two. Into. The snake went into the bushes. And finally, we have 
over, over. So these are the words that you'll see highlighted in yellow in the book. And then these are just words that by practicing them, the story will be easier to read. So let's read the story, not one time, but two times. Okay, I'll read it with you the first time. Okay, ready? Put your fingers on the words. Are they there? Okay, do your best job. The big race. Win the big race. Win this big cake. Today is the big race. I like cake, said Red Lizard. I will run in that race. Red Lizard gets to the race. Four animals will run with him. Maybe make it a little bit higher for you. Cottontail is not late. She will run in lane one. Rat naps in the shade. She will run in lane two. Snake takes his spot in lane three. Road runner stands in lane four. He waves to his pals. Red Lizard is in lane five. The animals bend and hop. The flag is down. And the race starts. Many animals watch and clap. Okay, what does this say up, up here? Get set, go! Oops. Cotton tail does not get far. Rat falls into the hay. Snake stops and chases bugs. Words say. Oh yeah, Road Runner trips over a rake. Who will win? Hip hip hooray! It's Red Lizard who wins. Watch me eat this cake, he yells. Red Lizard looks at his big cake. Red Lizard 
looks at his pals. His pals like Kate, too. What will Red Lizard do now? Red Lizard gets five plates. He gets cake for his pals, too. Hip, hip, hooray for Red Lizard. Okay, I'm sort of sensing that we need a little break between our first and second read of it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and talk about why it is important to have rules. So at the very beginning, it says, essential question, why is it important to have rules? So if we were in class, we would be discussing that. But for those of you who are catching this video, um, we're just going to, I'm just going to tell you why it's important to have rules. It's, it's because when you have rules, you know what's expected of you and you know what will happen if you don't follow the rules. So let me go ahead and put this down a little bit. So when you have a foot race, like the animals in this story did, there's rules to it. Like there's expectations. Like you can't start until the flag goes down. You have to stay in your lane. You have to keep running and not go and do something else in the middle of the race. And then the last rule is the first one that crosses, that obeys all the rules, gets to be the winner. So that's why it's important. You just need to know what to expect and what consequences there will be if you don't follow the rules. So they had to learn, they had to learn through experience that, that you just can't get distracted by bugs. You have to watch where you're going. You have to stay in your lane. You can't, you know, don't get distracted by bugs. You have to watch where you're going. They were learning lots of stuff during the race. The one who did it right and stayed focused the whole time and obeyed the rules, he won. So that's why it's important to have rules. And let's go ahead and read it our last time. And okay, I want you guys to go ahead and whisper read it with me. Okay, we'll read it at this level, all right? We're doing this so that you will be really good at reading it by the end of the week. All right, ready? The Big Race. And this time, let's use our character voices, okay? I wonder how a lizard might sound. Win the big race. Win this big cake. Today is the big race. I like cake, said Red Lizard. I will run in that race. I know when it's his turn to talk because of these talking marks. Red Lizard gets to the race. Four animals will run with him. Cottontail is not late. She will run in lane one. Rat naps in the shade. She will run in lane two. Snake takes his spot in lane three. Roadrunner stands in lane four. He waves to his pals. Oh, let's just look at this. You know what? Penguins are not desert animals. All these other animals might live in the desert, but definitely a penguin would not. Red Lizard is in lane five. The animals bend 
and hop. Get set, go! The flag is down and the race starts. Many animals watch and clap. Cottontail does not get far. Rat falls into the hay. Snake stops and chases bugs. Road runner trips over a rake. Who will win? Hip, hip, wait, hip, hip, hooray! It's Red Lizard who wins. Watch me eat this cake, he yells. Red Lizard looks at his big cake. Red Lizard looks at his pals. His pals like cake, too. What will Red Lizard do now? Red Lizard gets five plates. He gets cake for his pals, too. Hip, hip, hooray for Red Lizard! Hey, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed reading that with me today. Bye-bye.